Yesterday, I read you the book Toad or Frog. Today, I'm going to read you the book Salamander or Lizard. In this book, you're going to learn the difference between a salamander and a lizard, and you're also going to learn how they're the same. Salamander or Lizard. So this book does not have a table of contents, so we don't get a sneak peek of what we will read in this book. So remember, not all nonfiction books will have a table of contents. This heading says salamander or lizard. Is it a salamander or is it a lizard? Can you tell the difference? Salamanders are amphibians. Most live in the water when they are young. Many adult salamanders live on land. So remember when we learned about amphibians, we learned that they are born in the water and their eggs. And as they get older, their body starts to change and they go through metamorphosis. And then they, when their body changes, they move and start living on land. Lizards look like salamanders, but they are reptiles. Most lizards spend their whole lives on land. So that's a big difference between a salamander and a lizard is a salamander is an amphibian, whereas a lizard is not, it's a reptile. Smoother scaly. Most salamanders have smooth, slick skin. They live in dark, damp places. So damp, that word is bolded. So let's go to the glossary and see what it means when it says they live in damp places. So what does damp mean? Damp means slightly wet. So it's just a little wet. So remember that its skin needs to be wet because it breathes, it takes in oxygen through its skin and it also has small lungs. So here we go. Then it says lizards have scaly skin. It can be very rough. Most lizards live in warm, dry places. So their skins are the opposite. So we have salamanders who are very smooth and wet and slick, but lizards are very rough and bumpy and they live in dry places. They don't need to live near wet places and damp places like a salamander. So many kinds. There are hundreds of kinds of salamanders. The Chinese giant salamander is the largest salamander. It can grow up to six feet long, but most salamanders are only a few inches long. So here's a salamander. That's a picture of a salamander. There are more than 5,000 kinds of lizards. Lizards can be as small as a dime. They can also be huge. Komodo dragons are giant lizards. They can grow up to 10 feet long. And then there's a, a little picture. And in pink, it says, some lizards live where the sand is very hot. They lift two feet up to let them cool. Then they set them back down and will lift the others up to cool. So that's a way to they cool their, their feet when it's too hot. Moist or dry. Sal salamanders have moist skin. Their skin is covered with mucus. So mucus is bolded. Let's see what it means when it says mucus since their body is covered by that. Mucus, a slippery, sticky some substance that's produced by the body. So it's very slippery and sticky and their body produces that on their skin. So it says their skin is covered with mucus. Some salamanders breathe through their skin. Others will breathe with lungs or gills when they're young. Lizards have dry skin. They have lungs for breathing. Salamanders and lizards both have skin that does not grow with their body. When their bodies get too big, they shed their old skin. They have new skin under it. Salamanders lay their eggs in water or in damp soil. So damp soil meaning wet soil. The eggs are covered with clear jelly. They do not have shells. So the author, look at this picture the author showed in the book so you can see up close what a salamander's egg looks like and you can even see the jelly around it. Then it says lizards lay their eggs on land. The eggs have soft leathery skin. So you can see the difference between a salamander's eggs and a lizard's eggs. 
Different diets. Salamanders eat small animals such as worms, insects, and snails. Some salamanders can catch prey with their tongue, and that salamander has food in its mouth. Many lizards also use their tongues to catch prey. Some lizards eat only other animals. Some lizards eat only plants. Some lizards eat both plants and animals. So some lizards are just herbivores, some li lizards are just carnivores, and some lizards are omnivores, they're both. Fantastic feet. Salamanders have four or fewer toes on their front feet. So they have four or less on their front feet. They have five or fewer toes on their back feet. Many salamanders do not have claws. Many lizards have five toes on each foot. Some lizard toes have claws. Geckos have sticky feet. They can walk across ceilings and windows. So just like the other book, it says at a glance. So the author is going to show you how the salamander and the lizard are different. So let's see, it says that a salamander is an amphibian where a lizard is a reptile. Then it says salamanders have smooth, slick skin where lizards have rough, scaly skin. Salamanders live in dark, damp, meaning wet places. But lizards live in warm, dry places. Salamanders, there are hundreds of kinds, but lizards, there are thousands, so there's more lizards than salamanders of the kinds. Salamanders, their eggs are covered by jelly, and a lizard's eggs are protected by a shell. So I really like how in this book, the author helped you see the difference between a salamander and a lizard, because some people may think they're very similar, but as we read in this book, they're quite different. So on the next page, it shows you if you want to make a craft, a, a, a salamander craft, here's how you do it, and it has the steps. It's kind of like a how-to, and it's, it's numbered. So it means that you have to follow those steps, and it even has pictures for each step, kind of like your how-to that you made in writing. This one is a crawling lizard. So the author is showing you how to make an amphibian and a reptile. And here again, it shows you everything you'll need, shows you the steps in order, and the pictures that go with the steps. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the book.